God for, for welcoming me here. Thank your pastor for allowing us to, to come in here. Uh, I don't know if you guys are uh, too familiar with other churches, but here's here's the truth. Y'all's church ain't normal. Come on. Amen. Really, it's not normal. Amen. That's a good thing. <laughs> There's so many churches that are caught up in just my four no more, but you guys are out in the community. You guys are building things out here for the community to have something to come hang out with, and that is needed in this day, in this day and age. Come on. Amen. Amen. Well, today we're going to, I'm going to keep it kind of, uh, I'm going to kind of frame in a little bit if you all understand who I am. Uh, in this room, I'm the worst sinner in this room. It's by the glory of God that I am who I am. I'm unworthy. My life has been crazy. I'm going to preach from a place today, and I want you to understand that this isn't somebody who was raised in the church. Lifetime foster kid. Went through molestation, etc. There's kids in here, so I'm going to keep it really simple. Drug addiction. I lost my children. Facing prison time. Jail locked up. Moved around. Every drug you can think of, we did it. But God found me in a jail cell one day. I was sitting in a jail cell, and I was waiting to be sentenced. And a man came in with pretty little spiky hair and a pretty little suit. And he stopped in front of my jail cell, and he said, I love you. And that made me mad. From that point on, God began to show me the love of Christ. And so what I went over the last 10 years of being clean and sober and, and searching for God and learning who God is, I, I, I began to find out that when things are wrong in my life, there was something I was doing wrong. And I began to work at grinding to fix that. Maybe it was my prayer life. Maybe it was my worship life. Maybe it was how I was treating my family at home. Maybe I wasn't... Um, being obedient in one thing or the other. And then God began to change things. Guess what happened, man? I got married. To uh, My wife is sick today, so she's not here. Um, she got a, a bad migraine last night. Um, so I'm sleeping off. My, two of my kids aren't here. My, my other kids are here. My little stepdaughter here. She's the neighborhood kid that hangs out with us every single day. And so I'm, I'm thankful that they're here. But God restored all those things. 